PACDA demonstrational model to be ready by 2023. A demonstration model of the PACDA long-range aircraft is supposed to be assembled by 2023, a source in plane building industry told TESS. Currently, the experimental model is being built. The demonstration model will be ready by 2023, the source said. According to the source, a new weapon system is being developed for this project. The subsonic PACDA will be armed with hypersonic weapons. Besides, its flight will be aided by drones, the source said. And this is not the only new generation Russian fighter jet that will be supported by drones in combat missions. A fifth generation Su 57 fighter jet will be designed in a two seat modification to control a swarm of heavy Okotnik combat drones, a defense industry source told TASS. In order to control advanced Okotnik drones, a two seat command variant of Su 57 will be created. The fighter jet, already in development, is presumed to control about four Okotnik drones, the source said. As the press office of Russia's United Aircraft Corporation, UAC, earlier told TESS, the latest Okotnik drone will strike aerial and ground targets in network-centric interaction with a Su-57 fighter. In their joint employment with the fifth-generation fighter, Okotnik drones will deal with a full range of tasks, striking aerial and ground targets under the command of a Su-57's pilot. Returning to PAC-DA, in December 2019. Deputy Defense Minister of Russia Alexei Krivrushko said in an interview that the design project of the PAC-DA has been approved and the Tupolev Design Bureau began developing working design documentation. In May 2020, DAS sources disclosed that production of the first experimental model of the new strategic bomber had begun. It is known that the PAC-DA is designed using the flying wing scheme. The machine will feature technologies and materials that reduce its radar visibility, stealth technology. The plane will be subsonic and will be able to carry current and future cruise missiles, precision bombs and hypersonic weapons, it will be provided with the newest communications and jamming equipment. Furthermore, it was reported that the new fifth-generation PAC-DA bomber will be able to carry a 30-ton weapons payload. USSR produced the 295 as equivalent to the B-52. Later, Tupolev Design Bureau developed the 2160 as in response to the American B-1. PAC-DA should be considered as in response to the B-2 stealth bomber. If you like our podcasts and you want to support the work we are doing, check out our Patreon page at the link in the description and become a patron beginning from as little as 2 euro a month.